If you're a PC gamer and play Just Cause 3, you would have noticed that the developers of the game obviously hate us, because the optimization isn't great. But I have good news. The solution is very easy, and in this video, I am going to show you exactly how to resolve the issue. Now, let's start off with what the issue is. The issue is the bugs, the, well, not the bugs per se, but the fact that you get lag spikes and etc. And I'm going to tell you now that if, if you're a big fan of having a 1080p display, this is really, 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 really not going to be great. So back to the issue. The issue is that the game doesn't run. And even with my friend Laser's channel, well, not his channel, but his, his computer, it has apparently got a GTX 970 in it, and he's got good, decent specs, better specs than me, and his PC can't handle this game, even on low, without having lag spikes. Now, I'm going to tell you why. And, like I said before, you're not going to like this, especially if you're big on your 1080p displays. So, the problem is, in fact, with the resolution. Thanks to my friend Dan, who's also known as um, This Is Dan on YouTube, who told me to downgrade to 900p. Well, told me that he downgraded to 900p and said no problems. So, so I did that, and the problems had minimised. They hadn't completely gone because, yeah, it's a poorly optimised game, but they have been minimised. So it improved the PC's performance quite significantly. So, if you are struggling to get the game working down and it's lag spiking even on low settings and you have a high-end PC the problem is not with the graphical settings it's the resolution so all you need to do is downgrade that from 1080p to 900p which is from 9 from 1920 by 1080 to 1600 by 900 and um, trust me when I say that that will resolve a lot of issues it, it also doesn't really affect much, but a, a word of warning, your PC's going to hate you for it because if you've got a 1080p display, it's not going to go well. Because if your PC's like a 1080p screen like mine, it's the monitor's 1080p, and you go into a 900p game that's full screen, essentially the, the PC's going to try to adjust to that, and it's going to boot you out of the game a million times before it starts. And sometimes if you tab out, it will take a while, it'll take a few clicks to be able to get back in. Like it'll click, it'll go in, black screen, and it'll boot you out again. That's a double click to do it. But, you know, theoretically, it shouldn't be that bad. I haven't had any problems with it as of yet. And if, you know, it sort of gives you a chance to sort of, uh, what's the word, appreciate the game that you have around you because the game is quite stunning and now that I've got the um, this resolution issue sorted it runs perfectly fine just a bug here and there but that's to be expected with any game of, that's recently come out so you know it, it's quite yeah that's how you basically improve the performance this will solve major lag spikes and issues like that. So if you're struggling with lag issues, then I would highly recommend you try this because chances are it's not to do with your um, graphics, graphical settings or your graphics card or anything, especially if it says you're getting like 60 FPS or whatnot in the corner if you ever try, like mine did. So, you know, I downgrade the resolution and the lag spikes have been reduced significantly, but will still seep in from time to time, and you will not be fully free of them. So, as long it, as much as it does resolve a lot of issues with um, like the lag, it will not fully resolve it, and you will st still get issues. But you know it does a decent job and it makes the game so much easier to play. I managed to get to fly the wingsuit for over 13 minutes with the smoothness of the game. If it was lagging all the time I would have crashed because I would have over controlled or something because that tends to happen so you know it's good to sort of have this sort of boost but if you've got a, like a 980 Ti, an i7 32 gigabytes around or something you shouldn't have a problem but 
if you're on a mid-range PC, then yeah. But so so I'm gonna move on now. I'm gonna just end the video. Thanks for watching. Comment if this helped you out a bit, because it helped me out a lot. Um, it also, this video proves that the developers who made this game didn't mean to like bugger it up, and it is not as bad as Assassin's Creed Unity like I thought it was, because Assassin's Creed Unity was just unresolvable, but this is resolvable. So yeah, it became a lot easier to, you know, game. It, it's a lot easier to fix, and that's how you fix it. You just downgrade from 1920 by 1080 to six. 1600 by 900 and you know that will resolve your issue but you know anyway guys thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed be sure to like subscribe and i'll see you on the next one see ya so long